Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Amalan Sagar, your host, and you're watching Courses for Principles. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about an institute that offers uh, online certifications, online PG diploma and diploma courses, as well as uh, it also works as a private lab and produce codes, uh, produce reports in the codes, and also do private investigative, uh, private investigations as well. So uh, the institute that we are talking about. Uh, in this video is SIFS India. SIFS stands for Sherlock Institute of Forensic Sciences, uh, which was founded, which was founded by, uh, was founded by uh, by an ex student of uh, Amity uh, University, Amity Institute of Forensic Science, Noida, uh, and uh, this institute is pretty renowned in the uh, forensic sector in India, in the, basically in the private forensic sectors in India. Uh, and uh, let's not waste any more time further and let's uh, continue with this video so SIFS as I already told you stands uh, for stands for uh, Sherlock Institute of Forensic Sciences uh, India it is an uh, it is affiliated with uh, MCA Ministry of Corporate Affairs Government of India under ISO 9001 2015 and also it is uh, affiliated to Academy of Forensic Investigations now um, those who want to know about uh, what is forensic Academy of Forensic Investigation is can comment down below in this video so that uh, if I see that you guys are eager to know about it as well so I'm gonna make a separate video on it as well so now let's talk about uh, the uh, the courses that it offers now it offers basically courses uh, in three levels level one level two and level three now level one is of three months level two is of six months level three is of one year now level one is just a certification level two is a diploma course and level three is a PG diploma course now uh, the eligibility criteria to study uh, the certification of the level one uh, level one courses uh, it has to be a minimum 12 pass from a recognized university or recognized from a recognized board and from it has the students has to be from the science stream 12 parts and uh, the fees for level 1 ex uh, courses is 11,800 for Indian students and $300 for international students for level 2 courses one has to be uh, 12 pass and uh, has to be in graduation and uh, the four fees is 17,700 for six months for Indian students and for international students is USD 400 and for level three one has to be a graduate minimum qualification has to be graduate uh, has to be the graduation it's of one year course as I already mentioned you and the four, uh, course fee is 23,600 for Indian students and $500 for USD uh, for international students sorry my mistake now uh, talking about the courses that it offers online is that uh, 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 there are total 25 courses I'm going to uh, post a screenshot of all the courses in this, on the screen right here now so that you can get a glimpse still I'm uh, reading it out all the courses I've written it down here so that I don't miss any so the first course it offers forensic science and criminal investigation number two is fingerprint examination and analysis number three is document and handwriting examination number four is uh, crime scene investigation number five is forensic graphology now forensic graphology is an extended kind of extended part of handwriting and handwriting analysis those who want to know about forensic graphology in detail can also comment down in this video if I see majority of the comments asking for forensic graphology a video on forensic graphology i'll also make a video on it as well the number six is ethical hacking and it security number seven is cyber forensic investigations number eight is cyber law and digital forensics number nine is forensic engineering number 10 is private investigation and detect, uh, detective techniques number 11 is forensic medicine and to toxicology number 12 is forensic accounting number 13 is insurance fraud investigation number 14 is crime scene and forensic photography number 15 forensic biometric analysis number 16 is dna fingerprinting 17 is forensic drugs analysis number 18 is forensic biology and serology number 19 is ballistics and firearm uh, study 20 is criminology and victimology now, as we all know, criminology is a study of criminal um, psychology of the uh, psychology of the criminals, whereas victimology is a study of psychologies of the victims. <clears throat> Twenty-one is a forensic odontology. Twenty-two is forensic uh, entomology. Number twenty-three is wildlife forensics. Number twenty-four is forensic psychology, and the last course it offers is forensic anthropology. Now, as I already told you, the eligibility criteria. I know these all courses, these all twenty-five courses are present at level one, level two, and level three. Obviously, uh, the advancement or the enhancement changes it at each level that as i already told you about the uh, courses their levels uh, 
and minimum criteria to study and the fees now how the uh, examination procedure is conducted and how how, you, how do you get your certificates and mark sheets well after completion of the uh, course after completion of the exams uh, within two weeks or within three weeks they will parcel you they will post the mark sheet and the certificates to your postal address that you give uh, while filling the form now how how do how can you apply over there well I'll, i'm going to attach the i'm going to attach the link of their website you can go there they will be there you'll be getting an option apply for online courses you can go through it and by that you can apply here now for certification course for level one course that was that is a certification course there are no examinations there have there are approximately uh two or three assignments that you need to complete within 10 days of time like like the date uh, the day the assignment assignments are being assigned from that day till the tenth day you have the time that's the deadline uh, I'm also attached I'm also going to attach the you know tableau uh, table where it is it has been clearly mentioned that how much assignments you need to do what are the time uh, time period within which you need to complete it and what are the examination procedures as well for ex for uh, level two and level three courses there are examinations plus uh, assignments plus a project that that's that's going to be assigned to you as well now talking about the other uh, the other features that it offers it also offers internships or uh, training what you uh, any anything you want to call it and uh, now there are four kinds of training that are being offered uh, here summer training of so winter tra summer training or internship winter training internship uh, corporate training and professional training well summer training and winter training are kind of similar like summer tra training is held for one month complete one month whereas winter trainings are held for in between 7 to 14 days summer trainings are being held in the month of April May June and July whereas uh, winter internships are being held in the month of December and January the domains that are being uh, you know the domains under which the trainings are being offered are QD question documents and handwriting analysis fingerprints examination and analysis cyber forensics and crimes and investigation now in summer internship the fees is 8999 plus gst including uh, this fees is for the students who want to get a fingerprint kit and those who doesn't want a fingerprint kit the, for them the fees is 7499 plus gst and for uh, winter internship the fees is 3600 including gst but there are no kits available or being uh, given to given to the students now, uh, talking about the corporate training, the corporate training is being give, uh, held under under the domains of fingerprint, uh, question documents, uh, crimes and investigation, handwriting and signature analysis, cyber forensics, and footprint, shoe print, and tire marks. Whereas professional trainings are just um, similar to uh, summer trainings, and the domains of the summer trainings are QD, question document. Uh, fingerprint analysis, cyber forensic and crime scene investigation. The only difference between professional training and summer trainings or winter trainings are summer trainings and winter trainings are held within a certain period of time and uh, it is it is within a rigid range of time and month. Whereas professional training can be customized. It can it depends upon the student for how many uh, for in the in which month they want to do it and for how many days they want to do it and how many uh, you know how many lecture how many. Uh, lecture hour or working hours they want to pursue now what are the experience that you that you are going to get in this training in this in in this training you'll get a very uh, enhanced practical exposure to forensics in forensics which you don't usually do which we usually don't get in the colleges and universities in internship we get that you'll get uh, real code experience mood code experience you'll get to see if uh, if uh, you'll get to experience police how police in real life uh, investigate a cases investigate a case and uh, how do they present their uh, you know expert opinions and expert uh, testimonies in the court you will also get to experience that now talking about their achievements what are the achievements they have uh, achieved till now now they have 3500 plus trusted corporate trainees till date they have more than 12000 they are, they have submitted more than 12000 reports in the court as a, as a, as, a, as a forensic expert now they have more than 200000 plus social media followers now uh, this question is being asked to me uh, several times that 
how can a private forensic expert which who is not assigned by the government of india can produce his or her testimony in the court of law well uh, in the indian penal code you have, you have a section section uh, 45 as far as i remember under which a private expert can give can give his or her testimony in the court of law and but there are certain uh, you know restrictions to it as well because before a person uh, gets to give his uh, get a chance to give his or her uh, expert testimony or expert opinion his qualifications are being uh, you know analyzed are, are being checked whether they are uh, actual and whether he is a genuine person or a legitimate person to be an expert or not and after that after he gets a green signal he can uh, produce his testimony in the court of law so i hope you guys have got to know about uh, about sifs a lot and in more detail and i hope this video is uh, in more uh, informative to you guys so hope you guys like the video if you like it please give it a thumbs up share it among your friends and please do subscribe to my channel thank you bye bye